Hey guys and welcome to a new video. This is a video covering the loot of 120 prayer at Fire Watches. We're going to be covering the loot and the amount of experience gained in fire making, prayer and combat because Fire Watches are amazing experience in multiple skills. But before we jump into the video, I just want to give a huge shout out to Xavier because thanks to him I'm able to make this video and share the loot and experience gained. So when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. So because I want to make the video somewhat informative, I'm going to be showing you guys Xavier setups for both ranged and magic, because these were the two main styles he used the camp fire watches with. So for his magic setup, he's trying to use as many cost efficient items as possible, hence why he's not using cinder banes, but cinder banes are good at fires. As you guys can see, his full setup is tier 70 subjugation gear, so no high requirements whatsoever, an amulet of souls, a luck for the dwarves, and of course the sun spear, pretty much your standard Firewatch setup for the most part. His inventory is also pretty standard because Fire Watches, of course, have a lot of noted drops which will be making the most of your money, some stone spirits, some congealed blood, and of course the death and blood runes which do add up as you guys will be seeing in the end of this video with the loot, and of course his familiar, his pack yak, which is stuffed to the brim with supreme overload potions, extra yak pouches, and summoning flasks for a 10 hour trip. And down at the bottom you guys can see his revolution bar in case you were wondering what exact bar he was using for magic. His range setup is pretty similar to his magic setup except for the fact that he's actually using T80 gear being Anima Core Zamrak instead of using full armadil. Again if you guys are curious for his ranged bar it is on screen now if you want to use the exact same bar he was using. Now not to leave you guys hanging let's get straight into why you clicked on this video. The loot of 120 prayer at fire watches. So Xavier gained a whopping 91 million prayer experience, but while gaining prayer experience from the sun spear automatically cremating the corpses of the fire watches, he also gained 59.2 million fire making experience. And because of the cedar side, he also gained 30 million farming experience. Not too bad for something very AFK. For those wondering, he also gained a whopping 183 million combat experience, including hit points XP. As for the loot, he made 595 mil in the items, and another 474 million GP in alks from the split bark bodies and helmets, and the spring cleaner auto alking the other drops and salvage, adding up to a total of 1.07 billion GP loot for 120 prayer. Now usually when you think of 120 prayer, it will be costing you 1 billion GP and not making you 1 bill. And that's why Vi watches are amazing for money making. He literally got 120 prayer, two thirds of 120 fire making and made 1 billion GP in total. That's absolutely amazing. Now just for the sake of the video, I'm going to be leaving in the clip of Savior getting 120 prayer because well, I feel that is a nice touch to the video. And to be honest, this little 120 party reminded me a bit of the old days. It was really fun. And I think we were waiting for about, well, at least an hour which I usually don't do, but for some reason it was really entertaining to just sit there and screw around. And after he got 120 Prayer, we also went ahead and made some screenshots because, well, you need to capture the moment anyways. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.